Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a the figure statue from the game Roblox Doors. Here are all of the materials that we will need to make it. Begin by placing a row of four red terracotta extending up from the ground. One, two, three, four. Then extend backwards a block, and then up by four. One, two, three, four. Extend back one, and then up by four. One, two, three, four. Back one, up by four. One, two, three, four. We now want to place an additional block on top of this and then extend to the left by five. One, two, three, four, five. We then want to extend back around and then down by four. One, two, three, four. And then back one, down by four. One, two, three, four four, back one, down by four, one, two, three, four, back one, down by four, one, two, three, four, and there we have hit the ground. So now that we have these two really long rows, what we also want to do is come all the way up to the top of the statue and fill in this row here so that we have two long rows of six red terracotta. We then want to extend these rows backwards another two rows to give us four in total. Then we want to take each one of these long jagged rows that we have made and we want to add another row inside of these moving towards the center of the statue. So on the right side we will be adding it here on the left and then on the left side here we want to add another row on the right. Just like this. And what we then want to do is actually add another row behind these rows as well. So each one of these rows that you can see, these rows of four that make up the legs, want to be two rows thick in total. So if you add another row directly behind these, like so, and just make sure that every single row that we have is only two rows thick, you'll be able to evaluate this from the side a little bit better like this. That's perfect. So something that you might do accidentally is like add an extra row there, which is fine, but then the like starts looking a little bit too thick. But that's just a personal preference. It's really not a big deal if you prefer it that way. So we want to continue this onto the opposite leg also. There we go, that looks great. And then we want to make the actual feet. So to do this, on the front of the legs, we add an extra row of red terracotta and then extend them outwards diagonally like this to kind of make this shape here. And in doing that, I think that this is probably the best view of them, we will end up with this. So we have the figure in motion. What we now want to do is make the lower part of the torso, so to do this we can take any one of these blocks along the outer edge of this rectangle and extend up by five rows. One, two, three, four, five, which we then want to do with every single other outer block, which is why we could have started anywhere. There we go, perfect. So the next thing that we want to do is add an extra row of red terracotta all the way around the edge of the top of that fifth row. So we are extending it outwards like this. This will then allow us to take any one of the outer blocks around the top of this rectangle and extend upwards by six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think that you guys know what's coming next. We're going to raise up the entire outer rectangle up by six rows in total everywhere.
perfect. So the next thing that we are going to do is make the... Let's make the shape of the head, actually. So we're going to fill the top of the body in using red terracotta like this. We then want to extend inwards from one of the corners. It really doesn't matter which one you pick. One, two, three rows diagonally. We're going to place a red terracotta and extend to the right. One, two, three. Back by one and then add another row behind. So this is going to be the neck. I think that we might even extend it an additional row forwards and backwards as well, just so that it kind of like sits like this. And then we are going to add an extra row of red terracotta. So this, this does matter. So on the front right hand corner here, an extra row of red terracotta, extend forwards by one, two rows. Will two be enough or do we want it to be an extra row? We'll start with two. So we then want to take this block and extend to the right by two, one, two, up one, right one, up by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, left, up, then left by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down, left, down by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right, down, and then just extend to the right until we connect back. So we will end up with this shape. What we then want to do is extend this entire thing backwards. So we want it to overhang the back of the statue by an equal amount that overhangs the front. So this will end up being, if we extend from the actual like front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this. So yeah, we'll just extend. We just have to extend the outer blocks. I should uh, I should point out, although there's not too many inward blocks anyway, but we want to extend the entire kind of outer shape of this backwards by seven rows in total, make sure it overhangs the back the same that it does the front. So, on the back of the head, I should also point out that there is an option to kind of like add a bit more shape to this. So, you could just fill it in nice and flat like this, or if you like, you can add these corner blocks in here as we have on the front, and then add just an additional layer of red terracotta. Instead of filling it in directly so that it is flush with the rest of the head, if you just add an extra row behind, it kind of gives it a little bit more shape. It makes the back of the head ever so slightly longer than the front, but I mean, it's really not too much of a big deal. It's kind of, once again, a personal preference. And what we now want to do from here is we want to extend each one of these corner blocks on the front of the statue backwards, just an additional row like this. We then want to fill behind these rows in using black concrete. So this is just going to get completely filled in using black concrete. And once we filled this empty space in here, we can add the teeth. So the teeth are relatively simple to add. Let's start at the bottom here. So we want to leave a gap of one from each one of the sides along the inside of this row of red terracotta. We want to place a quartz stairs here facing forwards. Leave a gap of two, quartz stair. We want the same thing at the top of the statue also, just like this. And then on the sides, we actually want to like leave a gap of one from the straight portion here, and then we want to build up a smooth quartz block with then a smooth quartz stairs like this. We then want to leave a gap of two, and then we want to have like a solid smooth quartz block and then an upside down stair like so. And then we want to have the opposite on the opposite side as well. So we want to have this here, and then this here. And there we go, we've got a nice little set of gnashers. Now, if you want to make this look ever so slightly more menacing, what we can do is add some pointed dripstone at the bottom and the top. My recommendation would be to make the outer teeth slightly bigger and to leave the inner teeth 
alone. But of course you could just do the opposite of that or make them all nice and huge. But regardless, I think that that makes it look a little bit creepier. And now that we've done that, I think that it's time for us to add the rib cage. So the rib cage is made out of bone block and it starts one row away from the top of the torso on the left and right side. So bone block wants to get extended right like this so we want to place it in a specific way as well so like on the corners i want the bone block to face like sideways because you kind of get this like open part but we start on the side it wraps around it comes to the front here and i think we extend in one two blocks like this and then we just want to add a smooth quartz slab here so let's have a look on the opposite side as well so we place the bone we want it to be sideways on the corner one two blocks in and then we want to have a, yeah, there we go, perfect. So a smooth quartz slab just in the bottom. So it just looks a little bit more jagged. I, I just like the look of that. I think it looks pretty cool. So we then leave a gap of one going down, and then we have another set of bone leading forwards. We'll just change the end block at the, uh, at the end here. And you can either like make it so that this middle row here is uh, one row shorter. So you could make it so that it's like one row shorter to kind of like change it up a bit, or you could add like a solid smooth quartz block here on the end. It's kind of up to you, and then we can now easily change these bone blocks, can't we, just on the end like this. And then last but not least, once you've figured out what you want to do with that, we want to add another row of this, just one row lower, just like this, just on both sides. And we'll, we'll make them face all the same way in a second. And we will add the smooth quartz slabs here on the, that is not the right position. We will add the smooth quartz slabs here on the upper part. And I think that that's probably the best configuration. I think that that looks the coolest. Um, so let's just change these bone blocks sideways, just here on the corners. And then we have some of them that are facing the wrong way here. And then we also want them to wrap around the back of the statue as well. So like this. And you know what, let's, let's move this sideways here, back here. So we'll have to change them on the corners on the back as well, of course. But we'll have them wrap around. They'll all join nicely together. And once these ribs have been placed, so here it, it actually once again I, I think i've already said it but it is kind of personal preference with the bone blocks like no matter what you're going to get them either on the side or you're going to get on the front and it kind of is up to you like where you would prefer to see them but yeah this is looking pretty cool so far next we have to make the arms so each one of the arms is different and we will start on the right side first so in between these top two sets of ribs here we want to take either one of these middle blocks probably the front one and we want to place one two red terracotta extending out from that block we then want to extend down by three one two three and then let's actually make it four we want to extend down by four because we can then extend one block forwards and then down by four again one two three four and then one block forwards and then down by four again one two three four forwards and then down by four again one two three four and that will give us this shape so quite a gangly arm what we then want to do is extend every single one of these blocks outwards like this so this is very similar to what we did with the legs if you guys remember and then what we want to do is add an extra row of red terracotta behind each one of these rows in such a way that we have two rows of terracotta like this extending all the way down so they are never more than two rows thick unless you prefer it that way which is completely fine so on the front of the hand here the bottom of the arm we want to add an extra row of red terracotta hanging off of the front here we flare this block on the left down one and then on the right side we extend right one and then down two then we take the entire outer shape of the hand we extend it backwards so that it sits equal on the back as it does the front of the hand and then we just add some claws so this is going to be a couple of smooth quartz stairs like this and there you go nice creepy arm what we now want to do is come onto the opposite side and we want to do pretty much a, a very similar thing but not the same thing so we take the two middle blocks or i have one of the middle blocks on the left side in between these ribs we extend outwards by one two we then extend down out and then down by three one two three 
We then extend forwards by 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Down 1, forwards by 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we want to double up on this row. So we're going to add another row directly behind this as we come down the arm. And then underneath it, like so, in a very similar way that we did on the opposite side. So we add another row like down underneath make sure that it's pretty much two rows thick everywhere and then we are going to add another row of red terracotta inside of this so kind of doing this a little bit in reverse to the other side but the arm wants to hug the body so just like this and then these blocks here would be inside the ribs but i mean yeah we'll leave it like that that looks that looks good anyway so what we then want to do is extend up these two blocks at the end of the hand here up by one row each we then want to take this block here on the right and we want to extend it up one and then forwards by one two and then we want to add a block here on the left and extend forwards by one and then we want to add a block here and then extend forwards by one two just like this and then we're going to add another block here on the right one stand forwards by one like so and then we're just going to use smooth quartz slabs for nails or claws and there we go it looks kind of creepy so the figure is kind of like walking and kind of like got kind of like reaching out at the same time you could just have both arms dangle if you like as well but i kind of like the fact that it sort of looks like it's in motion like trying to get you you could also change this arm as well to kind of like point forwards too but yeah Personal preference. So, speaking of personal preference, I think that the figure looks really cool in red terracotta, but you can also change it to a bit more of a gross material if you're looking for that sort of effect, which would be Never Warp Block. Now, I do sort of happen to like this effect. I, I kind of like the texture that it gives as well. So, another thing that you could do if you're not particularly into the red Never Warp, and by the way, I don't there is something to that. I think that that looks really cool. I particularly like the shade of red as well. You could mix up some of the skin tone using pink terracotta. So instead of just having red terracotta throughout the entire statue, you can kind of make a stripey pattern using pink terracotta, like up the legs and also like up the arms and kind of like just chunk out some of the blocks like it's easier on the arms because they're kind of like built in these kind of like rectangular shapes like this right so that that looks pretty good like if you're going for a bit more of a textured effect and then in the body like it, it'd be a bit more random because we we can't really you know it's it's kind of harder to do with the stripes like it's not so um, uniform as it is the arms but if you were to chunk out some of the blocks and replace them with some like pink terracotta if you kind of wanted to get that effect it's a little bit more of I would describe it as a gross effect but you know that's that's completely something that you could do all the way up the head like just chunk out a bunch of blocks and just change them in such a way that you know it's it, 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 it's just perhaps a little bit more interesting to look at. That is also another solid option, which I, I just wanted to give you guys instead of just the red terracotta. But honestly, my favourite might be the Neverwart. Regardless of which you choose, it will look great. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.